So I think one of the big things with all of this is to realize that in life, every single day, whether you're a hypnotist or a mind reader or not, you are constantly influencing everybody that you interact with in any respect, whether it's by email sent out to your email list, whether it's in a direct email you sent to your gran, if it's uh, you know somebody that you meet at the shop, you're influencing everybody all of the time. And you're either influencing them towards the thing that you want them to do that hopefully if you've got good intentions is inherently the thing that's also good for them. So that's what we should always be doing. It's really important that there's none of this that is the sort of black ops, secret underground tactics to hypnotize people into buying from you, none of that. But you're constantly permanently influencing people either towards the thing that you want them to do and is good for them. Because if if it wasn't good for them, you wouldn't want them to do it. You want them to buy your thing because your thing is good for them. Hopefully that, that yeah. that's the context under which all of this should be taken. Uh, or you are you are uh, influencing them away from that. You're influencing them to make a different decision, the wrong decision, effectively the thing that is going to hold them back. Because, like for example, we've got a membership called the League, which is all about email marketing, obviously. Yeah. And we believe that if somebody joins that, they're going to get better results with email marketing in a quicker space of time. So it makes sense for us to do everything we can to influence people to join that because the truth, the honest truth of it is, and we believe this to be true, that every day somebody doesn't join that membership is a day that they're not making more sales with their email, is a day that they're not putting the stuff in place. And every day that they wait is a day wasted. So if you feel the same way about your course or your program or your service or your product or your solution, then it's really important that you do something about it. And so a lot of this comes down to training people effectively. So just like when you get a brand new puppy, you have to train the puppy to go outside when it needs the toilet or to let you know, it doesn't like open the door, like to, you know, let you know that I want to go outside to go to the toilet and you eat at certain times and you don't beg off everybody else's plate and you don't jump up and bite the postman's hand off, etc. So in order to, in order to do all of that, we have to do the same level of training on stage. So the minute we get on stage, it's a bunch of stuff we've got to do. We've got to convince people that we're worth listening to. We've got to convince people that we're in control without them feeling like they're out of control. That's important. They have to know that we're in control, but so that they don't feel like they've lost control. And so that they know we set frameworks and rules and they follow those rules. Now, some of those rules, for example, if you come and see my show in a theater, some of those rules are laid down for you by the building. So you know that when you go to the theater, you sit in your seat, you face the same direction as everybody else. You don't talk. You try not to um, rustle your sweet papers. Some of the rules are set down by the environment. And then some of the other rules are just set down by the things that you do, the words that you say, and the actions that you take. And so both Kennedy and I have to contend with that on stage. And so we immediately said, okay, great. How do we take that and apply it to email? Because the first thing is in, in people's inbox, there are those rules of engagement, like there is in a theater. So in somebody's inbox, Uh, They feel like, uh, and sometimes these rules are good for you and sometimes they're bad for you, but people feel like this is my inbox and therefore anyone who comes into it is intruding on my territory. Now, we don't want people to feel like that with email because we want them to want our emails. So we've got to flip that back around at them and we've got to do that. We also want them to know that the, what the rules what the rules are here. We're going to send you emails. The emails are going to be valuable. We're also going to sell you stuff because we are a business, not a charity. We're going to help you as much as we can for free, but we also think you should come and, and pay us and work with us over here. And so we do things like um, the minute somebody joins our email list, the minute they join, uh, they get their email giving them whatever it was that they signed up for. So a, a lead magnet or a product they bought or something. And then 10 minutes after that's happened, they get they go into email number one of a four-part welcome sequence. We call it the getting to know you sequence, uh, named after the song from the King and I musical, because we like musical theatre, so everything's named after musicals. Brilliant. So they go into email number one of four of the welcome sequence. And that email lays down the rules. It sort of flips it back at them. It lets them know, actually, it doesn't say it in these words, but it lets them know that actually this isn't your house that I'm intruding on. I've invited you into my house by joining my email list. And I'm going to have this wallpaper and I'm going to make the tea the way that I make it. And if you don't like the taste of the tea and coffee and you don't like the biscuits I've put out and you don't like the wallpaper, that's fine. You can unsubscribe at any time, but you can't reply and complain. You can't uh, swear at me in replies and tell me to, you know, whatever. And so instead what we do is we, we set those rules down. We're going to email you every day. And here's why that's good. Cause we email our list every day. Just let's get that out there every day, 365 days of the year, even Christmas day, we email every day. And so we're going to say, we're going to email every day and here's why it's good for you. You're going to like the emails cause they're going to be valuable and they're going to move you forward towards X outcome make more sales with your email marketing, whatever. And if at any point you don't like them, you can unsubscribe. You can also come and hang out with us here in our email marketing show Facebook group. You can listen to the podcast, the email marketing show. You can buy this thing. You, you like We send them to the different things that they can do. And that's really important because that, that sets down the training for the whole of the rest of the outcome. 
if you've ever got a dog when it wasn't a puppy and tried to train it, there's loads of hard work to do because the, the, the sort of the, the untraining has already happened. Yeah. And so the, the goal here is to get somebody on day one and you have to very quickly say, I don't care how other people who email you treat it. You can reply to them and swear if you want, but within, within our rules of how we set things down. And of course, all of that is done the way you do any sort of persuasion through friendly, charismatic, personality filled, value filled influence. You want to turn up and not be some sort of uh, horrible person, like shouting at them in their inbox. Yeah. Instead, you just want to turn up and be full of personality and make your emails a place they want to hang out and a place that they want to play. And if you do that, then it enables you to become immensely influential. And this is obviously only scratching the surface, but it allows you to become immensely influential in a way that doesn't feel manipulative because it's not. And it doesn't feel like they're being pushed to make decisions or think things that they, they wouldn't naturally because they're not. But it means that everything starts with the right rules and the right the right sort of training in place. 